Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel where we're about that breaking cycles life. I hope you guys are good, ready for the day ahead. I hope you can tell by my excitement that I'm on holidays and I am definitely <laughs> free and happy, right? So, whew, guys, today's scripture is Deuteronomy 31, verse 8, and it says, And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Guys. Whew. Let me tell you that this scripture is true. Okay, because whew, God is definitely amazing. Right? And I'm going to give an example from my exam period. Because first of all, this exam, this semester is one of the hardest or the hardest that's what all my seniors say this semester is the hardest semester in my entire journey to becoming a doctor in this school right and uh, my second <laughs> my second issue was the fact that this one was a hard subject which was surgery right so guys you know like you're reading throughout the semester and like you understand bit, bit by bit but then but then it's when the exam time comes the night before or the day before that you actually crack down on your notes and you remember everything right because you may forget a few things throughout the semester while you're studying right guys let me tell you how that day because i had it on the monday and uh, i had it on the monday and sunday was off for me right and sunday night was definitely off for me right um yeah so <laughs> i remember that i remember that day that night so perfectly because i was so out of it from morning until night um for that sunday just to understand the reason why i was out of it was because that monthly thing started right and guys since i became since i became vegan i have i have not had serious pain right and i don't know what happened i really don't know what happened that night but it's like every every kind of pain i felt prior to becoming vegan like back in high school days just came on me that night and i was like how is this possible i'm like no god why are you doing this because i said i said i know it's i know it was supposed to start around this time but i was like god please after surgery after surgery after surgery you know i need the time to study for it hey this is god he was like uh today tonight i was like no you can ask my room all oh, my friends they were like in my room looking at me because i was like oh my gosh What's wrong with me? I could not move, I could not think, I could not do anything. I was literally weak in pain. Right guys? And I was like, what is happening? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to fail tomorrow. I am definitely going to fail tomorrow. Right? So I was like, okay. Hmm. So I took pills. Pills weren't working. I was like, no. This was like, this reminded me of back in high school, you know, I could take a million pills, nothing, nothing would work, right? I was like, no, what is happening? Why? Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. And then that morning, I had the exam at two, right? That morning, I felt a little better. Actually, I had woke, I woke up at around 2 a.m. with a little pain, but I was still weak week 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 so i went up because you know i'm very persistent i'm like okay no despite the pain despite the weakness let's study i was there trying it was not working guys it really was not working i just went back into bed and slept because because like what could i do i was honestly out of it i was like you know what just gonna call my brother my sister my mother i was like so guys um I have unfortunate news I'm going to fail this exam but um, God had a different plan right and we, we thank God for his plan right so <laughs> oh 
my gosh, guys. Mm-mm. Oh my gosh. Makes me want to, like, it just makes me in awe of him. Just thinking about the moment. So I was studying the morning of the exam, right? I was going through some questions making sure that, you know, at least if something come, I can write some scribbles somewhere, somewhere along the paper, or on the paper, right? I was like, oh my gosh, all while being weak, all while having still a little bit of pain. It wasn't as serious as the night before, but still, I was still weak, still in pain, right? They're studying, they're studying, they're studying, trying, trying my very best, trying my very best, and I remembered, God, I remember when I started studying for this course, like I opened the book and it ended up on a certain page, on a certain topic, and it was cardiogenic shock. Oh my gosh, guys. God, like, you know when you open up the, the book to something and like you just focus in on one section, it's like you know God is speaking to you like, okay, this is coming. And I, I closed the book, I was like, okay, I'll look at it later, right? I didn't look at it again until like probably an hour or two before the exam because while I was there studying, he reminded me it was like Shani, cardiogenic shock. I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I went and I looked and I was like, okay, right, 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 right. Seeing it in the mind, seeing it in the mind. Right, 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 right. Okay, got it. In case it comes, that's exactly what I'm going to write. Exactly. Guys. <sighs> What was a whole 10 marks on that paper, right? Cardiogenic shock. I was like, what? <laughs> so I was like, okay, I was excited because, okay, some of the exam papers, you can see the last question at the back before you open up um, the rest of the paper to see exactly what's inside. I didn't even care about um, writing anything else. I turned that paper over, I saw cardi cardiogenic shock, I was writing, I was like, okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> I was like, right, 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 don't forget it, right, right. <laughs> Guys, I was so happy. It gave me hope to open up the paper. When I was writing, my teacher came to me, she's like, Shani, write, write your name. I'm like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Right, 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 right. And then I opened up, I'm like, okay, Another friend told me about another question that would probably repeat and exactly that question came from I was like, okay, right, right. <laughs> and then I remembered that God, again, I was going through my notes again and I focused in on another area and that was exactly what came. I was like, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> I was like, right, 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 right. I was like, okay, okay. Oh yes, I remember this. God, guys, I came out of the... I came out of that exam with the assurity that I passed, okay? Because if it wasn't God, then who else? Who else would have made me focus in on that point and reminded me that I needed to study cardiogenic shock, that I needed to focus in on that other aspect um, in my notes? Like, you would just wonder, with all that happened the night before, the fact that I could not study, I was like, and all of this that I'm telling you was something that I studied in the morning, just the morning of the exam, guys. I was like, what is happening? And God stopped me in my exam. Well, not really stopped me. After I like finished in 30 or an hour, 30 minutes or an hour, close to an hour, right? Um, and I sat there and everything else that I needed to do, I just wait think, breathe, and then try and remember everything else, right? Because I went through the multiple choices, the terms, I, I, you know, God was good, okay, guys? Um, I was like, oh my gosh. And then he, he whispered in my ear, he's like, Shani, why do you fear? Like, literally, I go before you, like, this very, this very scripture, guys. This very scripture, guys. Why do you fear? I am with you. Do you think that I would leave you? I told you I would teach you. I would guide you. Why are you fearing? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> this was me in the exam. Not speaking out loud, but I was just having a conversation. I was like, 
I really don't know. I'm like, God, never again will I worry about anything. <laughs> I'm like, no. You would have expected that the fact that he put me in medical school after just whispering in my ears that he needed me to do medicine and that came to pass, right? And I'm here now studying medicine. That would give me enough hope to not worry, right? But no, guys, the level of peace I had after that exam. If you see me worrying, you should hit me <laughs> and be like, Shani, look what God did for you. And you're here worrying. He's going to work everything out. And that's what I want you guys to also, also be reassured of. God, he is the God that will go before you. He'll lead you. He'll never forsake you. And regardless of how close or how it looks weary, how it looks dreary, that I was literally, I called my mom the night. I was like, mommy, I was literally planning to call you on this call and, and tell you that I'm going to fail. Like, that was the plan. I'm not even joking. That was the plan, right? But I called her to tell her a testimony of God's goodness to me in the exam. Because who else could it have been but God? Right, guys? But God, right? Oh, and after that, I really stopped worrying. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I really stopped worrying because all my exams after that, I was there studying and I listened to the voice of God. He was like, focus on this. And I'm like, okay, I did it. It came. I am not even joking, guys. And sometimes he doesn't speak. He just makes you focus in on something or he makes sure that when you're studying, you cover the topics that are needed to be covered for the exam. I'm not even joking that when you go in, you're like, oh God, thank you for the fact that you allowed me to see these questions and review them so that I could study. Guys, God is good. That's all I can say because he did not forsake me, guys, and he won't forsake you. So I hope this is an encouragement to you that you will trust God that in spite of everything going wrong, just the morning of your victory could be the turning point. The night before, the day before, you could be in turmoil, crying, and wondering what is happening to you. And if you just hold on, if you just keep pushing, if you trust God, you'll see that at 2 o'clock, he'll give you victory in your exams. Okay, because we're all on this journey having exams here and there, right? You'll pass your test, okay? If you focus on God and if you let him lead you, do not be dismayed, do not fear because God is with you. Okay, guys, so have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement, and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now, do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.